Now we have the next um, present, presenter, Venerable Dr. Hongsa Boribon. Um, Venerable Dr. Hongsa, Dr. Hongsa Boribon uh, will speak about Eightfold Noble Path. So uh, since uh, uh, the Eightfold Noble Path is coming down in the next session, and since the um, kind of uh, presenters are already packed up, so we have moved him up to this uh, kind of session. So please understand it. And uh, uh, to Venerable uh, Dr. Hongsa Boribon, we do have 15 minutes. Please try to remain within time. Thank you very much. Please go on. Thank you for the chairman. Uh, res respect is to Venerable from many several countries, from Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar, and any country. I regards to lay people and all the participants to join the international seminar today. I am on behalf of uh, Lao Sankha, uh, on behalf of the Venerable Dr. Kansai Sisuda, the Chief of Boss of Wat Lao Putakaya, India, to give on the speak today on the international seminar. And we have talked about the Nipana. Totally, I agree with the Venerable Diana from Myanmar, he talked in Telawada to Nipana, and we have two kinds of Nipana, like uh, number one, Saupatisa Nipana, and Anupatisa Nisana. So, in this way, which we want to practice to go to the Nipana, and we have the Tama, the Buddha teaching in the eight, uh, number eight point path. So I will list uh, you on to uh, go into the eight point path for the path of the Buddha uh, towards to go the ground or like the Nipana. So in the number eight point path, we know, I, I, I hope every venerable they talk and they teach the, this Tama to the people in any country, but we are in different language, uh, and we bring the Buddha teaching in the same way for this hour, go to Nipana. In Buddhist tradition, the phone part is the practical teaching of the attain, the cessation of the suffering, and achieve so uh, awakening, it is the beneficial way for the human beings to gain an ethical and mental development through the evaluation of the attachment, desire and grace and delusion. The Nebel S phone pass or Ariya Atankika Maka is the path of leading to the extension of the suffering or to the state of the Nibbana. And stand on the last order of the four number two. It is well known as the middle way of Masima Patipata. It is so called because it is devoted to the experience from the two extreme ways of indulging in, in the pleasure and uh, self modification. A misreading from the way to Nipana. The two extreme way are one is the dissension or in the in the acceptance or uh, extreme to the hinominum. This is the uh, another issue, uh, modification or extreme exceticism. The Nebo is phone pass or the miss the way. Uh, the way is the compose of the eight uh, factor like uh, right view, right thoughts, right speech, right action, and right livelihoods. 
uh, rice efforts, uh, rice mindfulness, and rice concentration. In the number one, I let you know the detail of the right view. It is the way to gain raise uh, knowledge and the right understanding of a reality without confusion, misunderstanding, and delusion. One should look at the life nature and the whole West as well as the existence of the own living beings as the level are. In this respect, in this respect, right view is the integral, the path of the wisdom. It is meant to see through the real nature of the adjective and to understand the practical aspect of, of things. Right view lead to the right thoughts and the right action. Uh, what we have in the right view? In the right, uh, right view, we have understanding suffering and understanding is origin. Understanding is as a cessation and understanding the way leading to is cessation. This is the way to practice of the right view. And right thought or right intention, it is the related with right view and the right view as show a right thought and the right thought is the uh, synonymous with the right thought, right uh, perfection, uh, right uh, perception, or right extent, uh, expectation of an action. Buddhists follow the teaching of the right thought is to get the clear of immoral thinking, evil thoughts, and evil. Buddhist practice should make the commitment to non-violence and awards all the living being. In the, uh, the way to the practice in the right thoughts, we have the three ways to, for practice, uh, practicing. There's the uh, intention of the uh, renunciation or giving up the something. Intention of uh, good will um, and intention of the harmlessness or non -dam damage or dan not danger. This is for practice in the right thoughts. Right space in the way the Buddhist follows to speak in the right manner without tearing foreign or foreign speed. That's where in short order, what is the right speed? Right speed, we should speak true and speaking conquest or speaking a friendship uh, friendly, avoiding abusing. Speaking what is the, the faction, or speaking a true, or speaking proper, this is the, uh, we can call it uh, worstly. Uh, next, uh, right space, we obtaining from the phone space and abstaining from slanderous space, abstaining from hard space, and abstaining from idle chattel. Right action is referred to moral or the ethical action, as has the Buddhist are uh, inspiration to be a uh, morality erects in the their conduct without bringing uh, harm to other living beings. In this way, I have to uh, choice for practicing, avoiding take, uh, taking life, stealing, misconduct, and robbery and faithfulness, and as well as uh, cheating. 
acts in the kind of the compassionate way and uh, respect order. In the right action, we have three ways for practicing. There's one, abstaining from taking life, abstaining from stealing, and abstaining from sexual misconduct. Rise uh, livelihoods, it means that one should raise a uh, rise toll, lies without harming other living beings. One should avoid killing, trading human beings, and stealing anymore, shoveling and buying intoxicant. In this, uh, have uh, two, two things for practice. Uh, one is the uh, giving up wrong uh, livelihoods, and one earns one living by a rise form of the livelihoods. Rice effort, the Buddhists should, the Buddhists should make rice temp, uh, attempt to abandon wrong thoughts and wrong uh, conduct. There are three states of the rice effort. Number one, <coughs> abstaining free arising aversion. Number two, abstaining a wholesome death has risen. Keep the wholesome death has arisen. Rise efforts we should practice in death and uh, the efforts to restrain from uh, defilement. Uh, the efforts to abandon defilement and the uh, effort to develop a uh, wholesome states. The efforts to maintain wholesome state. And number seven, rise mindfulness. Uh, in uh, yesterday, many venerable talk about the mindfulness. It's referred to state of the rise Consciousness and rise attention, one should keep alert to the surrounding. That may affect non-self and focusing the body, feeling, mind, and mental quality. In the mindfulness, uh, the Buddha have to say have uh, two kinds. Uh, for practicing like uh, Satipatthana. Uh, mindful contemplation of the body, mindful contemplation of the feeling, mindful contemplation of the mind, mindful contemplation of phenomena. Right concentration is referred to a process to achieve mental meditation. One should get clear of desires, unwholesome and thoughts and attachment in order to concentrate one's full energy on one specific object. One should practice the right concentration and contemplate Excuse on one me, body, feeling state minutes. of the mind and the other uh, phenomena. According, the, according to the Nebula S. Phone Pass, can be included under three phone training. Uh, one is morality or sila. Second is con uh, concentration or samadhi and wisdom, uh, panya. In the eight point path is the way to practice to go to the nip nipana in the be understanding for that. So uh, I conclusion for the three, the training, like a si sila, samadhi, and panya. Thank you very much for...
Thank you very much, Venerable Dr. Hongsa Boribun, for your presentation on uh, Eightfold Noble Path. Um, Venerable began with uh, explaining about the uh, Nibbana, about two types, uh, with remain and uh, with no more remain, without remain. So then he goes down to attain that uh, we have to train into the Eightfold Noble Path. There is no other way around uh, unless we train into noble, Eightfold Noble Path. So then he goes down, uh, explains the Eightfold Noble Path one by one. And uh, you have uh, already heard that in very detail. So, Tanda Kong Sungya Di, Zavya Gode, Ani Nyang De De La, Plauji Nyang De La, Lami Nyang De Ni Yores, Tati Tobiya Ke Tablam De La, Ani Ta Ji Kar Sugure, Phalami Yala Gek Thoni, Ani Nyamne Nani, Ani Tobiya Ke Besu Che Gugi Yore, Ti Ma Do Che Ke Tablam Shen Yoma Re, Ta Tablam Phalami Yala Gek, Nyam Shen Nani, Ani Tob Gugi Yore, Bi Indu Phalami Yala Gek, Ani Rodan De 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 now, uh, the presentation of paper part is over. Uh, we almost have around 20 minutes for the discussion. So uh, I do believe that uh, many of you may have a lot of questions uh, kind of uh, arising. So I will provide uh, one minute, how to say, one question to everyone who likes to ask questions. Uh, no more than one. Just one question you try to ask, the most important question that you have. Please be brief and to the point when you ask the question. Don't keep kind of repeating, repeating and going around. It will uh, kind of uh, eat up our time and time is very valuable. So it is not just our time and my time and your time. It is time of all of us. Okay, so for, it makes it more valuable. So. Uh, uh, whenever all the venerables also answer, please try to be at the point. Whatever question is asked, try to be at the point and then be brief. Please don't move around and around, okay? Uh, respected chairman, actually my question is also one to ask the one about the Yana, but the okay. has Very to good. question. Okay, I, I, I changed the question to the last speaker. Uh, one about Hongsa Bourbon. Dancing, yeah. Dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you talk about the eight full part, eight noble full part. So I want to know that how how can you classify the eight full part into the sales matipanya? Could you understand my question? Oh. How to classi classify eight full part into the sales matipanya? How to classify? There are eight full noble parts. There are eight. Uh -huh. uh, uh, in which category, how many you put out of eight? How many you put in the Sila category? How many you put in the Samadhi category? How many you yes. put in the uh, Gyan, uh, the Pragya category? So this is his question. Right. Okay. Thank you for Thank the you. question. And in the noble eight prone parts, it will be including to the Sin, Sila, Samadhi, and Panya. Uh, in, in this, uh, the, the first uh, Sila, and the, the rice, uh, space, rice action, and uh, sorry, one again in the Sierra, uh, rice, uh, space, rice action, and rice uh, living hoods. Yeah, in this, uh, in the morality of Sierra, uh, Samadhi is the right concentration. Uh, rise mindfulness, uh, rise efforts in the uh, samadhi, and panya is uh, rise understanding and uh, rise thoughts. This we minus to the three kinds of the eight, number eight phone pass to okay. sila samadhi and panya. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we are done for the today. Please carry on. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We are done for this session. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, all the speakers. Thank you very much, all the uh, participants, and all those, all those your uh, wonderful questions.
uh, we really enjoyed and, and I do believe uh, uh, many of us have uh, kind of benefited from their presentation and their uh, questions and an answer. Thank you very much.